turbocharged direct injection or TDIs are design of turbo diesel engines, which feature turbocharging and cylinder direct fuel injection, developed and produced by the Volkswagen Group. These TDI engines are widely used in all mainstream Volkswagen Group marks of passenger cars and light commercial vehicles produced by the company. They are also used as marine engines, Volkswagen Marine, and Volkswagen Industrial Motor applications. In many countries, TDI is a registered trademark of Volkswagen AG. The TDI designation has also been used on vehicles powered by Land Rover design diesel engines. These are unrelated to VAG engines. Overview The TDI engine uses direct injection, where a fuel injector sprays atomized fuel directly into the main combustion chamber of each cylinder, rather than the pre combustion chamber prevalent in older diesels which used indirect injection. The engine also uses forced induction by way of a turbocharger to increase the amount of air which is able to enter the engine cylinders, and most TDI engines also feature an intercooler to lower the temperature of the charged, or compressed air from the turbo, thereby increasing the amount of fuel that can be injected and combusted. These, in combination, allow for greater engine efficiency, and therefore greater power outputs while also decreasing emissions and providing more torque than the non-turbo and non-direct injection petrol engine counterpart from VAG. Similar technology has been used by other automotive companies, but TDI specifically refers to these Volkswagen Group engines. Naturally aspirated direct injection diesel engines made by Volkswagen Group use the suction diesel injection label. Because these engines are relatively low displacement and quite compact they have a low surface area. The resulting reduced surface area of the direct injection diesel engine reduces heat losses, and thereby increases engine efficiency, at the expense of slightly increased combustion noise. A direct injection engine is also easier to start when cold, because of more efficient placing and usage of glow plugs. Direct injection to bow diesel engines are frequent winners of various prizes in the International Engine of the Year awards. In 1999 in particular, six out of twelve categories were won by direct injection engines, three were Volkswagen, two were BMW, and one Audi. Notably that year, the Volkswagen Group 1.2 TDI 3L beat the Toyota Prius to win best fuel economy in its class. The TDI engine has won Green Car of the Year award in the years 2009 and 2010 beating other various electric cars. History The first passenger car to be powered by direct injection was the 1986 Fiat Chroma 2.0 TDI D. Rover introduced its MDI turbocharged direct injection diesel developed with Perkins, in 1988 in the Rover Montego. It was also sold in marine form by Volvo. It used a Bosch VE injection pump. The engine had been launched in naturally aspirated form for commercial vehicles in 1986. The first Volkswagen Group TDI engine was the Audi developed 2.5 a litre of 5 TDI a Euro and inline 5 cylinder engine, introduced in the Audi 100 in 1989 a Euro, and this variant is still used today in Volkswagen marine applications. The TDI arrangement has been enhanced through various stages of development a Euro by improving the efficiency of the turbocharger, increasing the pressure at which fuel can be injected, and more precisely timing when the injection of fuel takes place. There have been a few major generations, starting with what are known as VE and VP engines, which use a distributor-type injection pump. In 2000, the pumped R1 Cortese TDI engine began to appear in Europe eventually coming to North America a few years later. The pumped R1 Cortese design was a reaction to the development of high-pressure common rail fuel injection systems by competitors, an attempt by Volkswagen Group to create an in-house technology of comparable performance that would not require any royalties to be paid. While pumped R1 Cortese engines had a significantly higher injection pressure than older engines, they are slightly less refined when compared to the very latest common rail and, with the original solenoid-operated unit injectors, weren't able to control injection timing as precisely. Some current PDTDI engines now use piezoelectric unit injectors, allowing far greater control of injection timing and fuel delivery. From the 2009 model year onwards, 
TDI engines using the common rail technique, again with piezoelectric injectors, are now used in various Volkswagen Group models. The Creek engines are available in many sizes, including 1.2, 1 1.6, 2.0, 2.7, 3.0, 4.2 and 6.0 liters, with outputs from 55 to 368 a kilowatt from these engines. Motor Racing, a motor racing version of the common rail TDI engine made an impact in March 2006 when it was used in the Le Mans prototype Audi A10 TDI, and made its debut win in the 12 hours of Sebring race. This victory was followed three months later by another one in the 24 hours of Le Mans race, becoming the first diesel-powered car to win these prestigious endurance races. Fuel economy was a significant factor as the car did not have to refuel as often as petrol engine race cars in the race. The car was fueled with a special synthetic V-power diesel from Shell. The Audi A10, R15 and R18 TDIs have won at Le Mans seven times in eight years, from 2006 to 2011, with only the 2009 race being won by Peugeot's 908 HDI FAP, which is also a diesel-powered car. In 2007, Seat a Euro with the Lee Cubed NMK2 TDI at the Motorsport Arena Schirschleben in Germany. A Euro became the first manufacturer to win a round of the World Touring Car Championship Series in a diesel car, only a month after announcing it will enter the FIA World Touring Car Championship with the Lee Cubed NTDI. Seat's success with the Lee Cubed NTDI was continued and resulted in winning consecutively 2008 World Touring Car Championship and 2009 World Touring Car Championship both titles. In 2008, Seat a Euro with the Lee Cubed NMK2 TDI at Donington Park in England, became the first manufacturer to win a round of the British Touring Car Championship in a diesel-powered car. Jason Plato won race one of the weekend and Darren Turner won race three. Fuel the fuels required for TDI engines includes diesel fuel, or B5, B20, or B99 biodiesel, depending on emissions equipment, location dependent. A 2007 Volkswagen Jetta MK5 with a 1.9 TDI engine and a 5-speed manual transmission achieves 5.2 litres per 100 km on the European Combined Cycle Test while a six-speed direct shift gearbox automatic version reaches 5.9 litres per 100 kilometres. Newer TDI engines, with higher injection pressures, are less forgiving about poor quality fuel than their 1980s ancestors. Volkswagen Group's warranty does not cover damage due to bad fuel, and has in the past recommended that only mixtures up to 5% biodiesel be used. Volkswagen Group has recently permitted mixes up to B20 and has recommended B5 be used in place of 100% petroleum-based diesel because of biodiesel's improved lubricating properties. In North America, number 2 diesel fuel is recommended, since it has a higher Citan number than number 1 fuel, and has lower viscosity than heavier fuel oils. Some owners in North America, where Citan levels are generally poor, use additives, or premium diesel, to get Citan numbers closer to the standard levels found in the European market where the engine is designed. Improved Citan reduces emissions while improving performance, and may increase fuel economy. New ultra-low sulfur petroleum-only diesels cause seals to shrink and can cause fuel pump failures in TDI engines. Biodiesel blends are reported to prevent that failure. See also, SDI, diesel engine, turbo diesel, common rail, Diesel Automobile Racing, List of Volkswagen Group Diesel Engines, References External links, Volkswagen AG.com, Volkswagen Group Corporate Website